code editor. This is where you will go to start writing some code. Media, if we click on that. Now this is pretty cool. It has a lot of assets for you to download and use for your own projects, which is pretty cool. Programs icon here. Now these projects come stock uh, with the app. For example, uh, we got four player Pong over here. And open it up and you can see um, you can see all the code that this project contains. Start button on your switch. It will bring you to the game. It's called Dungeon Crawler. This is kind of neat. Uh, all 3D models. You only YOLO once. A uh, very powerful app here. And also hook up a keyboard to your dock station. And you can use your, you know, computer keyboard to a code. Right now I'm using the Joy-Con, so everything's going to be slow and laggy for you guys uh, for this video. But until I figure out a better setup for recording, uh, this is what we got. So anyways, you have the uh, Projects tab over here. Uh, here you can start a new project. The Tools icon. Uh, you have a map editor. Here we have the image editor. So you can uh, create some sprites in the image editor. Uh, select a project uh, to house your images in. The settings. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And then finally there's the help icon. We're going to be spending a lot of our time um, as we first start off. The show on you, you can format it in a lot of different ways. It doesn't matter to Fuse whether your program is written on just one line. The problem is it might matter to you. How we write our code will have a big effect on how we read it. It's not so bad to have a small program on one line, but what if your program is very large? Some programs are thousands and thousands of lines. If everything was on just one line, it would be very difficult to read and fix any problems. Compare the previous examples to the code below written with better formatting. Now we can easily see where our loop begins begins and ends and everything in between is tabbed. You can do this easily by pressing the tab key on your keyboard. Remember this code above will run the exact same way as the previous examples. The only difference is that it is now much easier to read. The projects and tutorials and Fuse are all formatted this way. You don't have to copy us. In fact, you might want to make up your own style of formatting, whatever is easiest for you. Functions and keywords. During the tutorials, you'll be seeing a few words again and again. Something you'll need to know for the upcoming projects is what we mean by a function. Go into more detail further into the tutorials, but for now, take a look at the line of code below. When we want to print words on the screen, we use the print function. See the brackets after the word print? This is how you know we're using a function. And Fuse 4 Nintendo Switch functions will also appear in light blue color. Functions usually need some information in the brackets to work. For example, the print function needs something in the brackets to actually print on the screen. This one's called the ink function. We use it to change the color of our text on the screen. This time we put a color in the brackets. When you see the name of a function in the Fuse tutorials, it will have brackets after it like this. Keywords are a little different and they do not use brackets. In Fuse 4 Nintendo Switch, they appear as red slash pink color. The two lines above are an empty loop Loop and repeat are keywords. Keep your eyes peeled in the upcoming projects to see clearly which parts are functions and which parts are keywords. All right, first let's go print. Uh, I'm gonna need the print function if I want anything to go on the screen. I know that much, so let's start there. You need in quotation marks. Uh, any strings that you want to print? Let me hit start. Nothing. I don't think anything worked right because we need to be wrapped in this loop. And repeat, maybe? Mm -hmm. With our cheesy dev. I hit start and I get an error. Too much drawing. Let's put the update. All right, let's uh, hit start. There we go. I believe there is another function called print at. At, okay, it's in blue, so I got that right. It's capital A. Let's just go 120 or 130. Screw it. And cheesy dev. All right. No, I don't. I don't think I need all these. Let's try it like that. Um. Okay. So I think these numbers are too large that I'm trying to use. Hey, there we go. So I must have um, 
I must have had the text off the screen somewhere. Yeah. So right now it's just printing on top of one another um, over and over again, the cheesy dev letters. So maybe we can uh, maybe we can print it like, randomly and give it a shot. Let's go inside here and go random and do the same thing over here. Let's go random. So I want to say print at a random x value up to 129 or 130 and then also a random y up to 120 or 119 uh, with the text cheesy dev just to yt. Cheesy dev YouTube. What's up boys? Alright, let's hit start. See what happens. Look at that. That's just gonna go on forever. Forever and ever and ever and never and ever and ever. Alright, we're doing good here. We are doing good. Um, so in that introduction, we also learned about, about the ink function. So let's try to change the color of the text real quick as well. Let's go ink. Now what was it? Open. Go blue. Let's go close. And uh, keep in mind this is all inside of the uh, in the loop and repeat. All right, just change our text to blue. Not too bad. Let's try randomizing the color. Let's go random, random colors every time it prints a cheesy dev uh, YouTube to the screen. And look at that. That it does. You can see here our app is getting a little bit more and more, uh, you know, complex as we add stuff to it. Let's go ahead and try to randomize the text size as well. I believe the function for text size is just text size. So let's go ahead and open. Let's go ahead and random. 50 font maybe? I don't, I don't know. Let's go ahead and close off that first set and the last set of the brackets as well that we opened. And let's hope for the best. All right. So as you can see, it is printing a uh, cheesy dev YouTube YT to the screen uh, with random colors and random text sizes as well. And that uh, that kind of makes a big difference. That looks cool. We have our first app on Fuse for Nintendo Switch. And now my cat is coming over here to bother me. That's all I got for this video, guys. It's your boy Cheesy Dev signing out, and I will see you in the next video.